I was given a great opportunity to work with many, many different universities, gymnasiums, secondary schools, colleges, and all sorts of uh, educational institutions in between. So as a result of this, I was able to directly engage culturally with a large amount of students ranging from the age of eight years old into their mid-twenties, which was something that was something uh, I did not even believe that I would be able to do something like this. And because of this, I was able to share not just my own experiences of living in America, but also some very specific information about uh, American Southern culture, about local practices. So two of the biggest, best elements of Belarus that I've seen is being able to work with the folk culture, as well as being able to experience nature and all the natural gifts that the country has to offer. So. Beyond just teaching English at a university, I was also involved in a folklore project recording the uh, indigenous music of the country, which goes back to many, many hundreds and hundreds of years, one of the oldest folk cultures within Europe. So I had a very great opportunity to work with musicians, not only in Minsk, but also all around the country, and I was given the opportunity to come to their villages, to come into their houses and record them, and be able to uh, share in a culture that is uh, unlike any other culture in the entire world. I was able to go and demonstrate most importantly that Americans are not scary and that we should be able to come and interact together peacefully no matter where you are in the world.